As if Jordan Peterson's psychological views weren't enough to keep him in the news, he came up with another controversial idea, his meat-only diet. Vegans, sorry, but please skip this video if you want to sleep peacefully at night. And as for the rest of you guys, stay tuned to find out more about this Peterson guy and his diet regime. First things first, what is this Jordan Peterson diet that everyone's talking about? Well, as the name indicates, adopting this diet means that you have to eat a version of a carnivorous meal plan every single day for the rest of your life. Scary? The alternative is scarier, according to Jordan Peterson. So what will you have to do if you want to adopt this eating style of this Canadian clinical psychologist? Well, it's simple. Just eliminate all grains, fruits, and most vegetables from your diet, and you're good to go. Next up, how's Peterson's diet different from a carnivore's diet? We did notice you confused guys in the back. Don't worry, we've got your back. Now, a carnivore diet allows zero carbs and only includes food that either walks, swims, or flies. Most people who adopt this diet either want to lose weight or want to treat an autoimmune condition. Now, most of you guys are aware of a keto diet, thanks to our celebs. Keto is a very high-fat, moderate protein, and very low-carbohydrate diet. Most of the people who experienced it hated it because of the high amount of fat required. So for those people, a carnivore diet is an easy option, as it's a high-protein diet. Well, vegans, if you're still here and are boiling with anger, let's provide you a means to release it. Curse Sean Baker, an orthopedic surgeon all you want as he's the writer of a book titled The Carnivore Diet and is known as a leader in the carnivore diet movement. Now, the food you can eat on a carnivore diet includes red meat, organ meats, poultry, fish, eggs, bone marrow, butter, salt, and pepper. You can also have water, bone broth, milk, yogurt, cheese, coffee, tea, sauces, or gravies, provided they are made only with meat drippings mixed with butter or ghee and no binders, such as flour. Now, since you know about the carnivore diet, it'll be easy to spot the differences between a Peterson diet and a carnivore one. Okay, so the Peterson diet has two stages. The first stage is called the elimination stage, which requires you to eat just meat, water, and salt for at least two months. This phase is called the lion diet phase. Stage two allows you to have your greens with the meat, and Jordan likes to call it a modified carnivore diet. Now, the important question, did Jordan just wake up one day and say no to anything other than meat? What if we tell you guys that Jordan Peterson isn't actually the founder of this diet? Wait, what? So did he steal someone else's idea and sell it using his name? Nope, that's also not the case. Cool down, you guys. Peterson and allegedly his diet rose to fame when the author of The 12 Rules for Life talked about his experiences of adopting an all-meat diet during a 2018 episode of The Joe Rogan Experience. In the podcast, he said that he was first introduced to this diet by his daughter, Michaela. The professor at the University of Toronto tried it and followed the lion diet for two months. He then went on a modified carnivore diet for a year. Peterson told Rogan that he lost 50 pounds through this and his appetite went down by 70%. He said that he didn't get blood sugar dysregulation problems and needed way less sleep after that and also his gum disease was gone. What's more, his lifelong depression, anxiety, gastric reflux, and associated snoring were all gone. His inability to wake up in the mornings, psoriasis, gingivitis, floaters in his right eye, numbness on the sides of his legs, and problems with mood regulation also went away, and he attributed it to the diet. Wow, seems like more of a miracle to us than something done by eating animals. Peterson also told Rogan that he was intellectually at his best, and he felt stronger and could swim better. Rogan then asked Jordan whether he took any vitamins, to which Jordan replied that no. He only ate beef, salt, and water, and never cheated even for a little bit. He also didn't drink any soda or wine and survived on club soda. Now let's hear it from Michaela Peterson, aka the founder of this diet. For Michaela, adolescence was pretty bad as she had multiple debilitating medical diagnoses, beginning with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Her body's immune system began attacking her joints. These joint problems began affecting her hip, and on top of that, she had extreme fatigue, depression and anxiety, brain fog, and sleep problems. She got diagnosed with depression in her fifth grade, and later she got idiopathic hypersomnia, which was just the doctor's fancy way of saying that they didn't know what was happening. Her doctors prescribed her several medicines, but none of them seem to work. Michaela remembers taking large doses of strong immune-suppressing drugs, like methotrexate, but to no use. In 2015, she took matters into her own hands and found out the root of her issues. It was food. She then began cutting out food from her diet in steps. She started with gluten and kept going. She then eliminated dairy, soy, lectins, artificial sweeteners, and even non-artificial sweeteners. By the end of 2017, she was just left with beef, salt, and water. 
and some good news. The good news was that all of her symptoms went into remission. Michaela also gives consultations to people who want to adopt her lifestyle. So if you're interested, be ready to splurge $75 for an hour-long session. Now let's talk about the cultures that follow this diet. Now all this carnivore diet made us think about the Flintstone era and how men used to hunt animals for their food. But you may be surprised to know that traditionally carnivorous people still exist. For example, there are traditional Maasai men who eat nothing but meat. Not only that, but they also take in blood and half a gallon of full-fat milk from their zebu cattle. Next, there are the Samburu people who eat meat and drink almost two gallons of raw milk each day for most of the year. Raw milk? We could never. Then there are the shepherds in Somalia who consume meat and a gallon and a half of camel's milk each day. Now let's talk about numbers. Each of these tribes gets more than 60% of their energy from animal fat and zero to low calories from non-animal products and that's how they survive. Next comes the Inuit of the Canadian Arctic who survive on seals, walruses, whales and fish. Now let's hear from the doctors and see what they have to say about this miraculous diet. Jack Gilbert, the faculty director at the University of Chicago's Microbiome Center and a professor of surgery thinks that it's a very bad idea physiologically. He then explained it in medical terms. Gilbert said that after this diet, your body will start to have severe dysregulation and within six months, you'll have no short chain fatty acids in your cells. On top of that, most of the byproducts of gastrointestinal polysaccharide fermentation will shut down so you won't be able to regulate your hormone levels. And in the end, you'd enter into cardiac issues due to alterations in cell receptors and your microbiota would just be devastated. Damn, what in Gray's Anatomy did he say? Okay, we get the message. Some super scary stuff will happen to us on this diet. Gilbert said that the life Michaela would live if she didn't die of colon cancer or some other severe cardiometabolic disease was just unimaginable. Okay, enough about this miraculous diet. Time to talk about the people who didn't find this diet useful. Alan Levinowitz, the author of The Gluten Lie, tried this diet after hearing rave reviews. He ended up losing seven pounds, which he thought was due to eating fewer calories overall as he was bored of eating meat only. He was psychologically exhausted as he missed snacking at coffee shops and returned to omnivory soon. Next comes James Blunt, who developed scurvy after two months on an all-meat diet. The English songwriter went on this diet to tease his vegan friends, and let's just say he damaged himself more than he did the vegans. Next on our list is Joe Rogan. Rogan began a carnivore diet in January 2020. He did experience some weight loss, but he also had diarrhea during this time. So according to experts, his weight loss might be because of excessive diarrhea that was caused by his diet. Also, Jordan and Michaela had a negative experience when they accidentally ate something that wasn't in their diet. Jordan said that the results were absolutely catastrophic. This implies that a carnivore diet will make you sensitized to the toxins and excess sugar of standard American diet foods, and you'll react more severely to them. That's a wrap for this video. So what do you think about this Jordan Peterson diet? Is this a do or a don't? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you in the next one. This.